The latest provincial update on the much debated Massey Tunnel replacement, making clear the plan in place now is what will be built. We are never happy with the, this 10 lane bridge uh, option that was uh, advocated for so long. Uh, it's going to be an eight lane tube tunnel with, with transit lanes, with three lanes of travel each way. It can't come soon enough for Delta's mayor. When we have accidents in the tunnel, and it takes an hour and a half, as it did three weeks ago, to go around to get to Alex Fraser Bridge. That's unacceptable. We need to ensure that we have crossings that are matching the seismic requirements of infrastructure, which this province is doing. Until this plan, there was no consensus among Metro Vancouver's mayors on what should come next, with the former B.C. Liberal Premier pushing for a 10-lane tolled bridge. I outlined that uh, this is the right project for the region, and we work with the region to arrive uh, at this. This uh, tunnel crossing program, this replacement program. So what happens if the NDP don't win the next election and the new Liberal leader, Kevin Falcon, is at the helm? If uh, Kevin Falcon continues to say that he's going to cancel this project when we've awarded contracts for it to proceed, when we've built infrastructure like the Steveston Interchange uh, and the bus lane uh, that we're announcing today, he's going to have to rip it out. Completion of the tunnel replacement is set for 2030. The whole project that includes the new Steveston Interchange and some new bus lanes is estimated to cost $4.15 billion. Lisa Yuzda, City News.